Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tamlin and this is Sewn on the Tine and I'm back today with another video and this one is all about a matching jumper set that I've made for me and my gorgeous son, Taylor. So I'm going to show you some photos, I'm going to talk through the patterns that I've used and the fabric that I've used and I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you for coming back if you're one of my regular viewers and if you're not then I'd love you to hit the subscribe button by the end of this video. So to start off with the fabric. The fabric was sent to me by a company called By Graziella Fabrics. I've worked with them before, they've sent me some fabric before, I've also purchased from them because their fabric I find is really high quality and really unique. The company was founded in 2008 by Nina who wanted to sort of relaunch and bring back her mum's designs which were under the name Graziella and they were around in the 70s so it's like a really long history of this amazing brand with these unique bold designs. So the brand originated in Germany and then recently by Graziella has also come to the UK as well. So they sell a range of really bold and colourful fabrics but they now also sell pdf patterns too which is fantastic their fabrics are mainly stretch fabrics so sweatshirtings jerseys but they also do sell some cottons as well the fabrics that i've used for my jumpers myself and taylor are an amazing sweatshirting fabric so a fleece backed sweatshirting and honestly the softest coziest sweatshirting i've possibly ever felt it really is gorgeous. So this is the fabric that I was sent. I was sent two meters of this fabric. On their website it's called Chaos Apple Sweat in Grey Marl. So it's got this lovely sort of blue background and then these bold apples and then every so often the apples have a little heart cut out of them which I think is just really really cute. This is priced at £9.95 per half meter and I will link to it down below. To show you the reverse of the fabric I'll show you Taylor's little jumper here and the reverse is beautifully soft brushed grey fabric and it's just yeah it's absolutely beautiful really really soft so with the two meters of fabric I wanted to make myself and Taylor matching jumpers last time I worked with by Graziella I made us matching jogging bottoms and I had a look at the photo today and I can't believe Taylor was ever that small it's amazing the change in him from then to now so yeah have a little look and see what you think so I made jogging bottoms then so this time I wanted to make something different and I went for jumpers for my jumper I decided to try a pattern that I bought a while ago but I hadn't actually tried yet and it's the waves and wild driftwood dolman sweater now this comes in a ladies size Size, a men's size and also in a children's version as well so that's fantastic you can make them for all the family the ladies pattern goes from extra extra small up to 5xl I'll just tell you what those measurements are so for an extra extra small they are a 30 inch bust a 24 inch waist and a 33 inch hip and then going up to the 5xl it's a 54 inch bust 50 inch waist and a 57 inch hip so this jumper pattern is really fantastic because it comes with three different length options it comes with three different sleeve options and it also has a tie waist option too so it's really really versatile it's priced at 12 Australian dollars but they often have sales on over at Waves and Wild so if you follow them on Instagram and their Facebook page you can find out when their sales are on and you can get yourself a bargain then. All of the Waves and Wild patterns also come in three different formats too so you get the print at home, the copy shop and also the projector files if you use those for your sewing. I tend to print out my children's patterns at home on my printer but for this one I did actually send this away to a copy shop to be printed. So for my version I went for a size medium because that's where all of my measurements fell and I went for the cropped version I went for the standard sleeve so I'll stand up and just show you the length of this it is very cropped but I really like that style because I tend to wear a lot of high-waisted jeans pulled in with a belt at my waist I've got gym leggings on because I went to the gym earlier but I will just show you the length of this jumper So my tummy button's just there, my waist is just here. So you can see it does just fall at waist length. And then I've got the standard sleeves there as well. So I absolutely love 
this sweater I love the length and I really want to make some more of these it really fits in with my style it also sewed up in absolutely no time at all if you've sewn a sweatshirt before it's basically you sew the front and back together you sew the sleeves in on the flat you sew the side seams up and I did all of that on my overlocker then you make your bands and again, I just made those on my overlocker. I attached them using my overlocker or serger. And then the only bit that I did with my sewing machine was to top stitch the neckband down. And I did that with a straight stitch on my sewing machine using Mariflex thread, which is the slightly stretchy thread from Gutterman. So that's my version. For Taylor's version, I made him my current favorite children's sweatshirt pattern, which is from Brindle and Twig. Brindle and Twig are an amazing pattern brand for children if you haven't tried them before. They have some free patterns if you'd like to give them a go. It's all PDF files so you would need to get them printed or a copy shop but I am in love with this sweater. So this is Taylor's here. So it's called the Vintage Sweatshirt because it's got more volume in the body. You can see it slightly curves out there. And it's also got more volume in the sleeves than a standard straight sleeve. And then it comes into quite a tight cuff at the end. Obviously still very stretchy because it's made out of rib, but it just gives that sort of vintage oversized feel. So this pattern goes from a zero to three months up to a five to six years. I made the 18 to 24 months for Taylor. He's currently 22 months old and it's perfect for him. Still a little oversized, but that's the style of it. And yeah, again, this one whipped up in no time at all. I'm just looking it's got a bit of muck on there because he was wearing this yesterday Um, again just the standard sweatshirt construction really straightforward and takes no time again I top stitched using Mariflex thread and I added a little Kylie in the machine label your mama made this which is adorable when I came downstairs with hi Ziggy always like to get in on the action don't you when I came downstairs wearing mine yesterday and I had Taylor's in my hand and I asked him if he would like to wear this jumper he said he pointed at it and he said mama mama and he pointed at mine and then he said apple apple and then I said would you like to wear a matching jumper to mummy and he said yeah so we put it on and we went outside for our little photo shoot and he looked adorable I hope you'll agree so I hope you've enjoyed finding out a little bit more about my matching set that I made for Taylor and I. I really would recommend both of these patterns. I mean, especially this one. I love this one for children, but I'm definitely going to be making more of this Driftwood Dolman sweater for me. I think it's fantastic. I will be hosting a little giveaway over on my Instagram page, along with by Graziella Fabrics. They're offering 1.5 meters of the fabric of your choice from their website. It is only open to the UK though, I'm afraid. So sorry about that if you're not based in the UK. So do head over to my Instagram page, Sewn on the Tyne, if you would like to enter that. I definitely see many more matching sets for Taylor and I in our future. Sam did joke and say, where's mine when we were wearing them? But I did say to him, I will make you one if you want. And he said no. <laughs> I'm thinking possibly it might be because of the little hearts. He's not too keen on those. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, I hope you liked it and I would love to hear from you. Do you make matching clothes for you and your child? Have you done before? Is it something you would consider? And do check out by Graziella Fabrics if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching today. I'd love you to give this video a little thumbs up if you have enjoyed it and I'll see you again very soon for my next video. Happy sewing. Bye. So I hope you found it there. I will be hosting a little giveaway over on Instagram. Um, uh. I will be hosting a little giveaway over on my Instagram page along with by Gra Graziella. Ah! <sighs> I'd love you to give this video a little a thumbs up if you have enjoyed. That was really bendy. <laughs> Happy sewing. Bye. What was that wave? <laughs> I feel like everything's not part of my body. <laughs>